don't actually believe a single word I'm saying, do you? Oh, sure, of course I believe you. Great. Just repeat the words I'm about to say, all right? Moon, prism, power, makeup. Right! Moon, prism, power, makeup! Hey everyone, it is Dawn Lindell and I am back with another beauty filter inspired makeup look. So for this video, I am going to attempt to recreate the filter that you saw earlier, which is a watermelon look with a lot of reds and oranges and also some watermelon seeds that act as freckles. So for the first part, I am just going to create a bright base. So I'm just going to layer this Misha Cushion Foundation all over my face until I get the base that I want. So it's not really too bright or too matte. I think it's just right. I will also be using this Innisfree Concealer of mine to cover up the dark spots that I have. Just to have that flawless finish that the filter has too. Once I'm done with my foundation and my concealer, I will now be taking my Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder and I will just pat it all over my face. So in the filter, it's not really shiny like how the Misha foundation would finish. So that's why I'm using this powder. And if you look at the right side of my face, you can no see the noticeable difference between how matte the right side of my face looks compared to the left side. Once I'm satisfied with the base, I will now proceed to my eyebrows. So looking at the filter, it didn't really have any eyebrow makeup on. So that's why I will just be doing a light look on my eyebrows. So for this part, I am just drawing some strokes by following the natural growth of my eyebrows. satisfied with my eyebrows i will now be proceeding to my eye makeup so looking at the filter it does use a bit of orange and some gold flakes i believe on my eyelids or on the eyelids so that's what i will be doing using the squad cosmetics palette that i have Next up, I will be blending orange and gold eyeshadow on my eyelids and also on my lower eyelid as well. To add more shimmers to my eye look, I just used my fingers to dab gold flakes on top of my eyelids and on the bottom parts as well. I will be curling my eyelashes and just putting two to three coats of mascara from my Misha 4D mascara. time for the fun part i am using the dyad blush and highlight pair of squad cosmetics and as you've seen in my previous videos it does get intense or the red color does get intense so you have to be careful while layering this blush but it is just perfect for this look it has the perfect red compared to the reference photo that i have down below so i'm just going to layer it with a powder brush and just have fun and just make sure that my cheeks and nose are as red as the reference photo. 
Now it's time to draw the freckles but first I will be using brown eyeshadow and this eyeliner brush to make an outline of how I want the freckles to look or where I will be placing them. So I just drew them on my cheeks and then I will be finishing them off with a liquid eyeliner. So this is the part where I was starting to mess up. Unfortunately, on this side of my face, the watermelon seeds were drawn bigger because I was trying to keep them small, but because of mistakes, I was just drawing over them and they ended up bigger on this side compared to what I saw on the sticker or on the filter. So as I finished the watermelon seeds as freckles, I noticed that I seemed to lack some color on my cheeks compared to the reference photo that I have. So after drying the eyeliner, I just proceeded to put on more layers of blush. I did struggle a bit in layering the red blush on my eye bags, nose, and my cheeks. It seems as if I couldn't put the right amount of blush on the spots where I wanted to. So I just proceeded to layer some more and then I headed on to some highlight and a little bit of contour to finish Strange the look. things are happening in this city. Even the police can't handle what's going on. Once I was a bit satisfied with the amount of blush that I had on, I then proceeded to pick a lipstick that was also close to the reference photo. And I have this Squad Cosmetics lipstick and I also blended it with another lipstick from Butterfly Cosmetics. And voila, this is almost the final look. I just needed to add a little more blush and this is it. So this is what I look like again with a filter and this is me with the makeup. I thought it would be easy but it was honestly challenging especially in layering the amounts of blush that I had on. So what I did was I also added a little bit more of foundation just to have that contrast between the red and my foundation, my face. And I also added a little bit of eyeliner too, just for fun. So this is it guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and click that bell to be notified for more updates and contents from me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Also, if you have any more suggestions or comments on what I could do on the next video, please write it down below. See you guys! Thank you.